The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. In this demonstration, I'm going to illustrate one or two interesting properties relating to the propagation of light in a dielectric. The setup is very simple. Here we have a flame polarized laser, helium neon laser. Here's the beam from the laser. We reflect it by this mirror into a quarter wave plate. Now over here, the light is circularly polarized. Then we pass the circularly polarized light through a polarizer over here so that as we rotate the transmission axis of the polarizer, we can generate linearly polarized light over here with different planes of polarization. For example, when the arrow or the transmission axis of the polarizer is horizontal, we have horizontally polarized light, flame polarized light. And when the arrow is vertical, for example, we have uh, plane polarized light in the vertical plane. So this polarized light enters this dielectric cylinder here. Normally one would use a piece of glass, but in this case I'm using a piece of lucite because I have a piece of lucite available. And then the light then after passing through the lucite cylinder goes off uh, onto the wall. So now what I'm going to do is change the polarization of light and look at the, the light scattered from the rod. First of all, if we take a close look at the, at the rod, we can see, in fact, we can see very little. We can see a hot spot over here that's the reflection at this boundary, Fresnel reflection. And we also see a hot spot over here, which is the reflection at the exit face of the rod. We don't see any light, uh, any, any beams of light leaving the cylinder at any, at any other angle. However, what we do see, and I hope you can see it, uh, is a faint streak marking the direction of the laser beam in, in the rod. This is due to Rayleigh scattering in the, uh, in, in, in the material. Now let's look at the polarization of the Rayleigh scattered light in the material. Now in the, in the insert, you see that the polarization of the light is vertical, and the camera is looking in a horizontal direction at the scattered light. Here you see that you make out there is some red light. Now when I go to horizontal polarization, you see that the light, the scattered light, is extinguished. When I go back to the vertical polarization, linearly polarized light in the vertical plane, you see that the, the light comes back and you can see it. But I know that uh, this is not a great uh, display. So what we'll do now, we'll turn down the lights so we can see the effect much better. Now that the room lights are dimmed, we can see the effect much better in the lower part of the screen. In the upper right hand corner, you see the polarizer being rotated or the transmission of axis of the polarizer being rotated so that we can select any plane of polarization we want. In this case, with a vertical arrow, we have vertically polarized light going into the lucite rod. Then you see that the scattered light is pretty bright. Now, watch carefully. As I rotate the plane of polarization of the light, of the incident light, you can see that the scattered light is getting extinguished. In fact, when I have 
plane polarized light in the horizontal plane, I see very little scattered light. Let's do it again. Let's go back to plane polarized light in the vertical plane. You see a lot of scattered light. And where the horizontal plane, when incident light is polarized in the horizontal plane, you see very little scattered light. Remember, the camera is looking from the side of the lucite tube. In summary, we've seen one or two interesting properties relating to the propagation of light in a dielectric material like a piece of lucite. We saw that the scattered light from the beam within the rod varies with the incident polarization. And we're leaving it to you to explain that when the incident polarization is plane polarized in the vertical plane, we saw a lot of light, scattered light, when we looked from the side. And when the incident polarization was plane polarized in the horizontal plane, we saw almost no light at all uh, scattered from the beam within the rod. So this is left to you to explain.